Ali Nugent. Our headlines today. Two of from a night out in Nottingham have been named as Barnaby Webber and Grace Kumar. They were both 19. Van was then driven into another group of people, leaving one critically injured. A 31-year-old man is being held on suspicion of murder. Our reporter, uh, Francis Reed, has more. Uh, we'll be live with our correspondent, Joe Black, who's in Nottingham for us uh, for the very latest details from the city. We'll, uh, we'll join her very shortly. Now, thousands of junior doctors across England will start a 72-hour strike this morning in an ongoing dispute over pay and conditions. Yes, the BMA is pressing ahead with the action after rejecting a 5% pay offer. While well, the Health Secretary, Steve Barclay, said the strike will put patient safety at risk and hamper efforts to cut waiting lists. With more details, here's our health reporter, Catherine DeCosta. Well, tributes have been paid to both Grace and Barnaby this morning. Great. Well, in the last half hour or so, Barnaby's family have been paying tribute to him. They've issued a statement. Do you want, and of course, across BBC News too. Uh, it's nine minutes past nine. Bathers are being advised not to swim in the sea around Blackpool after raw sewage was released into the water. You Watching him on BBC News throughout the day. That's all from us, though, on breakfast this morning. Back tomorrow from six. Now on BBC One, it's time for Morning Live with Gabby and Gethin. This is Breakfast with Ben Thompson and Sally Nugent. Good morning to you. It's just after 8.30. Now, we've been learning more details this morning about the two students who were stabbed to death along with a 54-year-old man on the streets of Nottingham yesterday. Barnaby's family have been paying tribute to him in a statement. These 35. Now, junior doctors in England have started a 72-hour strike this morning, all part of an ongoing dispute over pay and conditions. The Health Secretary, Steve Barclay, has said the move is disappointing. Let's hear now from his opposite notes there, which includes most residential streets will become 20 miles an hour from September. While well, the road safety charity Break wants to see something similar across the rest of the UK, not for all residential roads, but for those particularly around schools. Our reporter Tim Muffet is... ...sorts of TV shows. In his latest, he's brought along his two very best friends. They are his brother Josh and his dad Mark. Yeah, their new series sees the three Mr Wrights on holiday together, having adventures and reconnecting along the way. Take a look. You are this morning. See you soon. Now, let's take one last look at this morning's main news. Two university students who were fatally stabbed in Nottingham have been named as Barnaby Webber and Grace Kumar. They were both 19. A man in his 50s was also stabbed to death. His van was then driven into another group of people. It left one of them critically injured. A 31-year-old man is being held on suspicion of murder. Well, let's speak to our reporter, Joe Black.